Hello guys, I am Jacob Pimp Vinicke and today I will show you guys how you become a better Counter-Strike player and a better aimer while using Crossfire. So you may be wondering what is Crossfire? Crossfire is essential for you if you want to become a better aimer in Counter-Strike. It will teach you different techniques in terms of how you aim, how you shoot and how you maneuver inside the game. It's very important that you're on top of these things when you're playing Crossfire, otherwise the bots will punish you, they will kill you and they will make you feel like a noob. So the more familiar you get with Crossfire, the more familiar you get with aiming, positioning yourself and taking the right duels at the right time. It is, as said, essential if you want to become a better aimer in Counter-Strike. Alright, so instead of me just talking about it, let me first show you what Crossfire looks like when our semi-pro is playing it. So one of the main things Crossfire will teach you is how you shoot your gun. You can spray, you can burst, you can tap. It doesn't really matter. The goal of using Crossfire is for you to kill the bots as fast as possible in your, the most comfortable way for you. Some players like to one tap, some players like to burst, and some players like to spray. It'll look like this. If you're tapping away, obviously you just hit the one shot, you hit the one shot, you hit the one shot, you hit the one shot. That can be very fast if you're very precise, but sometimes it's better to burst, shoot a couple of bullets, shoot a couple of bullets, shoot a couple of bullets. That way, even if you're missing your first bullet, you'll still hit it. And then there's the spray option as well. If you want to make sure that each bot is dying while you're playing like this, you can spray them down. And for you, that may be the most effective way of making sure that you get the kills. Plus, if you don't, if you miss, as right there, you will just instantly die. Again, if you're not hitting your one tap, you'll instantly die. So the goal for Crossfire, not necessarily to hit all the one taps, but to make sure that you're killing as fast as possible. Crossfire is not only designed to make you a better aimer in Counter-Strike, it's also designed to make you more aware of your positioning and how you can use and take advantage of your positioning to become better at Counter-Strike. Just like in real games, you have to isolate the duels. So the way it works in Crossfire is that if you're exposed to the bots for more than a second and a half, they will kill you, they will shoot back at you. But if you go out of their line of sight and return into the line of sight, you have another second and a half. So you can use your positioning to kill the bots. It looks like this. If I have a bot looking at me right here, I'm trying to isolate the duels, right? Instead of being exposed to two bots at the same time, I wanna isolate the duels. I wanna use the wall right here to go in, back and forth, take one duel at a time. Crossfire teaches you deliberately how to use your positioning to only take one fight at a time, because it can be very tough to take two bots at the same time. If I do like this, I'm exposed to two bots, right? You have to be very precise right here. Instead of just standing behind this little brick, you can use it to isolate this fight, isolate this fight, isolate this fight, and isolate that fight. So you use your positioning behind this little wall right here to constantly make sure that you're only taking one fight at a time. Because if I stay in the open right here and I miss a couple of bullets, as you can see, they'll just kill you. Again, I'm exposed to two bots at the same time, they'll just kill you. So use your movement, use your positioning to isolate the duel, go behind a wall and kill these bots. Not only does Crossfire help you to become a better aimer, to be more aware of your positioning, but it also helps you to get better crosshair placement. One of the essential parts of becoming a better Counter-Strike player and some of the things that the pros are even working on daily is always staying on top of their crosshair placement as it will make the kills easier and it will make it faster. In Crossfire, it's designed in a way that the same amount of bots will always spawn, but it'll be randomized in terms of what bot spawns first and last. That makes it so you have to stay on top. You have to sort of pre-aim, you have to I guess memorize the maps and be aware that all these different bots can come from all different positions. I'll show it right here on Inferno that I'm gonna pre-aim certain positions with cross out placement and if I'm lucky a bot will walk out, otherwise I have to readjust. Another super cool thing about Crossfire is the fact that there's universal leaderboards. So instead of only competing against yourself, if you want to be a little bit more competitive, you can also check out what the best of the best are doing. Each Crossfire arena will have a leaderboard of the 10 best times ever set. On Inferno right here, as you can see, I have the ninth best time. And if you pay close attention as well, you can see Twist from Face Clan is the fourth fastest ever. And I wanna beat that. So it's a great way of motivating yourself. You can compete against yourself, but you can also compete against some of the best players in the world. If you follow these tips playing Crossfire, I guarantee you that you will become better at Counter-Strike immediately. It is the fastest way of improving. It is a unique way of training your aim, your positioning, and your cross-up placement. So go at it.